Sammy, I'm home. <laughs> away from you. Uh, Sammy, what's going on? Whoa, whoa, Susie, keep your distance. Sammy, we live in one house. We can't keep avoiding each other. Here, I've already divided the shelves in the fridge. My section is with Oreo, chocolate, and Coke. And yours is with vegetables, fruit, and uh, vegetables. Hey, this won't do. What if I offer you to make a craft together? Huh. Nice try. What kind of crap? An antiviral dispenser from cardboard. Now you're talking, I give up. Let's start crafting. <laughs> Let's go. Hi, everyone. In this video, we're going to make an antiviral dispenser from cardboard. Quite a useful thing for any house now. We'll start with the base of the dispenser and cut out a large circle. Sue, you've said the word dispenser so many times already, but the Google in my head can't give a definition for it. A <laughs> dispenser is a device that gives out items in a certain quantity. In our case, to give out antiviral items. Masks, gloves, and sanitizer. All right, a bit of antiviral magic? Pop. Now we need to cut out an opening in the middle for the section with the mask. And we'll also cut out these narrow openings for our future dispenser mechanism to move around. Whoa, it's gonna move around? Not bad. Yes. We'll be able to move the section along these lines. Dispenser sounds like a name for a special agent. Agent Dispenser, turn your mechanism. <laughs> there, the narrow openings are ready. I'll cut out the middle part. Agent Dispenser, you're going to work with the Master Cutter. We're making a real super agent to fight with viruses. All right, to attach two circles to each other, we're going to need these walls of flexible cardboard, which will hold the upper circle. There, we place it carefully on the very Suji, edge. Suji, the work is done neatly and quietly like masters usually do. Great, Sammy, I'm done with this wall. So we have this big cardboard disc. Is it a shield against the virus? Oh no, it's just the base, a platform for our device. Sammy, you look sad. What's wrong? Sometimes I just want to fast forward the quarantine until the moment the virus is gone. Oh, at least we can fast forward the gluing of the upper circle. Thank you, Susie. You cheered me up a bit. The base is ready. What's next? This opening is for the section for masks, which we'll make right now. Uh, what did I miss? I cut out two circles for the mask section the same way we did it for the base. You see, masks are important. The more people wear masks, the more difficult it is for the virus to spread. Are we making cardboard masks or something? Oh no, of course not. I cut out this piece to make separate sections for the masks, and we'll need five of them. Antiviral magic is with us again. Yes, let's speed the process up. What are those sections in the mask section for? So confusing. It's simple. Five sections for masks of different colors. Got it. It's time for my antiviral magic. Alakazam, alakazam. <laughs> oh, thank you, Sam. You can start arranging the masks now. Oh, well, it's too early for that. First, we'll glue the lid for our section. I wonder, which color of masks are best for antiviral protection? <laughs> Sam, color doesn't matter. It's the material and the method of production that matter. And now we'll glue two flexible pieces to our circles. We made the same ones for the base platform. And I think there is a color the virus is afraid of the most. Red, for example. So I really hope it's not red. A red mask would blend with my color. Sammy, you're such a daydreamer. <laughs> I've already glued the second piece for the section. And now the most important part, let's add some color. Voila. Now we need this bearing. I'll apply some glue to it. And attach it at the bottom. Sue, so what are we making? What's that for? It's a bearing, Sammy. Do you remember all the openings we made in the base? It's to make sure the structure turns and moves. That's why we need this stick and the bearing. Done! Sammy, bring the base platform. Time, Sue, I even made it colorful to match the general theme. Oh, thanks, Sammy. 
Well, this structure would have impressed even James Bond. Oh, no doubt, because James Bond can't craft like we do. All the calculations are correct. We did great. Hey, it's turning. All right, guys. We're moving on to the section for gloves and sanitizer. We need to make these openings for gloves in this piece. We've already marked them. And all the openings are of different sizes. All right, Sam? I'm always for variety. Then up, done. And I also made this quarter circle piece. It looks like a corner shower floor. This section will spray sanitizer like a shower. I got it. Well, I'm not sure about a shower, but it'll be enough to sanitize your hands. What pieces are you gluing now? These flexible pieces we're adding now will allow us to insert this section into our base. Huh, flexible cardboard is a versatile thing. <laughs> it sure is. We're adding walls made from it now. They will separate the section into two parts for the gloves and for the sanitizer. The gloves will be placed here and the section will be closed with a lid. It's decoration time! Whoosh! Done! How do you like it, Sammy? Ah. Oh, wow! Sue, it came out really cool! I've got something for you, too! This is the base for the sanitizer section for the bottles. Sammy, it's just what we need! Let's add a tag to it so we can pull it and take the bottles out. This device is truly incredible! All it needs is voice command. <clears throat> Dispenser, give me a sanitizer bottle and the most beautiful mask! Well, we don't have voice command yet. Let's call it touch control. Full access to all antiviral weapons. Tammy, let's check how it'll look with the gloves. There's enough space. Whoops. Hey, Sue, I prefer masks. Or do you want to duel me? Oh, sorry, Sammy. Look, it's quite convenient to take the gloves out of these openings. I think that was an excessive test. Todd got it under control. Then we can move on to the final stage of the craft. All right, guys, we've got the final part left, the mechanism of our dispenser. We'll start with the pump that will dispense sanitizer. We'll assemble the dispensing mechanism first. What will this pump do? Inflate the gloves? No, it'll move the sanitizer liquid out of the bottles. We're not going to inflate the gloves. Wouldn't it be great to have a giant inflated glove on top of the dispenser to steal away the virus? What are you doing now? I attach the sensor to the battery. When I move my hand to it, the green light goes on and the motor starts. And these wires should be attached to the pump. Guys, this should only be done under adult supervision. Right, this is no child play. Done! Now we can install the mechanism into our dispenser. We've made the second half of the dispenser the same way as the glove section. No super agent has a device like this. Yeah, it would be awesome if James Bond had a similar device installed in his jacket. He could probably wash on the run, too. But he'd need a portable dryer. <laughs> Sammy! <laughs> Stop daydreaming and check out our dispenser instead. This lid is for adding the sanitizer and replacing the battery. Let's also add a protective cover. Where will we get so much sanitizer to have it pouring out all the time? These sensors will help. An alarm system? Keep our antiviral stuff safe? No, it's a motion sensor. I move my hand to it, the sensor is activated, and the sanitizer comes out. I move my hand away, and the sanitizer stops. Awesome, a motion sensor too? So you should work in a research center, and I can care for our channel. No, Sam, I won't leave our channel. <laughs> Let's get you a thumbs up for loyalty. <gasps> Sammy, I came up with a cool idea. Sammy, we only need to arrange the masks, and it's done! Agent Dispenser Combat Readiness! dispenser at home and improve virus protection for your family. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and give an antiviral thumbs up. And now, Sue, I'll take a mask for myself because I need to go out. 
But first, I'll take a sanitizer shower, of course. Come on, Sam. Let's take all the precautions. Guys, thank you for watching. 